Thatgame.com, all the game you want and then some. Well, if you own a PS4, I'm pretty much sure you're annoyed by how much the battery lasts on the controller. I have a lot of problem with that controller. I may be buying a second one just, just to keep playing because if you have that console and you, and you use that controller, you know that it lasts two, three, maybe four hours if you're damn lucky and if you disable all the shits included like vibrations and all other stuff. So we have some good news today uh, coming from Shuei Yoshida. I'm not sure if that's the right way to pronounce his name but I don't really care, you know that guy. Uh, Joe Kingley uh, interviewed him and found out that with the upcoming PS4 firmware we discussed yesterday, that uh, that one with HDCP and all other things, uh, will be also included a new thing that will uh, allow users to dim the LED. This means that you can actually reduce uh, the battery usage by just dimming the, uh, the LED that is useless if you're not using a PS camera. That's a nice addition for many of us, many of us gamers that spend more than two or three hours in front of their, of their TVs and don't want to be always plugged in with a long shit, uh, shitty cable. So I'm all for this change. Uh, first, in the first uh, five or ten minutes, he said that we could actually turn off uh, the LED, but. Shui Yoshida came and said and clarified that it's only uh, a dimming capability. So it's nice, it's nice that you can actually dim it. It was better if you could turn it off, but maybe they have another plan with that and maybe they want to introduce more things using that LED. I don't know how will they do that. You can actually buy some covers for that LED to get some nice, cool. Um, designs so thank you for watching guys and don't forget to leave a comment a rate and a subscribe that will help me a lot and i'll see you in the next one